then the next place you land in your mind is what I call justify. Now what's justify? Justify is where you are able to make up extraordinary stories. You're able to string together amazing events and circumstances in order to let yourself off the hook for why there's really nothing you could do to prevent this situation from happening to you. Right. So, uh, an example. Um, I, uh, I go to reach for my keys and they're not there and I say, who took my keys? Well, then I realize nobody's been in my office for the last hour since I came in and put my keys down. So, that, do you see how that takes lay blame away from me? There's nobody to blame. So, when there's nobody to blame, my mind gets off blame, but now it lands in justify and I think, oh, no wonder I put my keys down where I can't find them. When I came in an hour ago, the window had been broken by a baseball, the rain was pouring in, papers all over the place, the cat had jumped in, knocked over the plant, and I was talking on my cell phone, my desk phone was ringing. No wonder there were so many things going on that I can't remember where I put my keys down. You see how I justify not being able to find my keys and being upset about it? By making up a story or an excuse that really lets me off the hook. Now, here's the interesting thing about that. Is that a resourceful learning state? It's not, because it says that the cause of my problem is a set of circumstances that are outside of my control, which means I get to keep this problem until I can change the circumstances. How many of you are really good at changing a set of circumstances? No. So how do we illustrate justify in our lives? That's just the way it is around here. It'll never change. Anybody ever say that? All right. That's reality. That's the way it is. Right. You know management. Okay. <laughs> you, know, you know that department over there. Okay. Uh, justify is really interesting. You would think that smart people like you and me would get past it, that we'd be wise enough to see through our own stories. The truth is, what our research shows is that the smarter we are, the better stories we write. Right. So it, this, this process is unrelated to intelligence. The smarter we are, the more intelligent the are, we are, the more creative mind we have. If we want to be stuck, we're able to make up doozy stories to keep ourselves stuck. These rocket scientists I've worked with, hmm, they make, do you know any smart people that tell really smart scenarios about why they can't solve this problem in their life because they're just a victim of circumstances? As long as you stay in that frame of mind, you can't learn, you can't correct, you can't improve, you can't think resourcefully. You can stay and justify for a moment or an hour or a day or a week uh, or a month or a year or a lifetime or you can get off of it.